Hello, and welcome to this Time Zero Navigator version 4 tutorial, where today we'll be taking a look at the toolbars in the various workspaces. On the left hand side of the screen, you can see our toolbar. The three dots at the bottom allow you to add various tools to each one of the toolbars. And by default, you'll see that different options are available depending on what workspace you're in. For instance, in the planning workspace, you'll see the route and routing option for uh, sailboat weather routing, as well as the recall track feature, which don't show up in the standard workspace by default. Additionally, for the radar workspace and the sander workspace, you'll see custom buttons for each one of those toolbars. So let's take a look at the tools in the navigation workspace. The first option here is track. This turns the track on and off. And as I zoom in, you'll see the track being recorded behind the vessel. The pan tool, which allows me to click and uh, move the screen. Zoom in and zoom out. These are handy if you don't have a mouse with a scroll wheel as you can just touch the uh, buttons on your touch screen. The divider tool allows you to measure the distance between two objects on the chart. Click on the chart and measure. If you double click on the divider tool, it'll instantly snap to the boat so you can see distance to the vessel. And this also works on a moving target, so if we double click on this AIS icon here, you'll see the divider uh, will move with the AIS target as well. To delete them, you can either right click, or you can just double tap on the divider tool. The go to allows us to create a simple go to that activates when we click on it. The mark tool allows us to place a mark on the chart. To configure that, you'll need to go into the time zero option menu and under marks, you can configure the uh, mark symbol. Again, the three dots at the bottom allow us to configure the toolbar. We can add in 3D orientation, uh, the ability to create boundary areas, circles, or lines, uh, EBL and VRM, which we'll discuss in the radar workspace, an event mark, uh, a man overboard, route, screenshot, or synchronize radar range, and our zoom tool. The man overboard button, when you click on it, it's going to drop a man overboard waypoint underneath the vessel, and zoom in as well. The route icon allows us to create a new route. This also can be achieved by right clicking and saying new route. The zoom tool allows us to zoom in on the chart by pressing and holding the left key on the mouse and zooming out by pressing and holding the right key on the mouse. The 3D orientation tool allows me to select the viewing angle while I'm in 3D. Simply select the tool, click and drag to the orientation that you desire. When you release, it goes back to the pan function. In the planning workspace, we have a couple other options. The launch routing tool allows us to launch our predictive routing. The boundary area tool allows us to create a boundary. Lastly, in our update workspace, 
which is where we download weather files. The toolbar controls are zoom in, zoom out, and then update area. The update area allows us to draw a new box that includes the area that we want to download weather for. See our tutorial on displaying and downloading weather for more about that workspace.